So everywhere you turn these days, you're hearing people talking about using all cuts of meat and using every single part of the animal and being sustainable and things like that. That is totally fine and dandy. Like, I really appreciate that. I love the fact that people are focusing on that. But when we start looking at bone marrow, bone marrow is something that you can get a little bit more scientific on. Sure, it's sustainable. Sure, it's great that you can use the marrow. But when you actually start looking at the science and the data, you find that bone marrow is actually very, very, very good for you. And you can get it in a capsule form as well. So let's talk about what bone marrow is. Because believe it or not, there's different kinds. Bones don't just have one kind of marrow. You see, there's red marrow and yellow marrow. And I'll explain all of that as I get towards the latter part of this video so everything that I'm saying collectively makes sense. I'm Thomas DeLauer on behalf of Antler Farms, and today we're breaking down bone marrow. So bone marrow is the soft, fatty tissue that's inside bones. So usually you're going to find it in the larger bones. So things like the femur, or the tibia, just larger bones in general because you're going to have a higher degree of that and a larger amount of the actual fat that's there. But you see, blood cells are actually produced there. So red blood cells and white blood cells and ultimately the stem cells that create those. So it's very, very important. It's the epicenter for a lot of things. But bone marrow, by and large, is fat. It's 90% fat. In fact, if you were to take 100 grams of bone marrow, you're going to find between 80 and 90 grams of fat, and the rest of it pretty much being a plethora of minerals and some various proteins, mainly collagen. So let's focus on the gelatinous portion. Let's focus on that gelatin and that collagen. They're a little bit synonymous because, quite honestly, collagen does have a little bit of a gelatinous feel to it when it's ultimately in its raw form. So let's take a look at what collagen is good for and how it works. So collagen makes up about 30% of the protein in your body. So it's very, very important when it comes down to your hair, your skin, your nails, your connective tissue, you name it. And since it makes up such a large amount of the proteins in your body, it's important that you always have enough going in. So it's comprised of three different amino acids. First one I wanna to touch on is proline. It's the job of proline to help break down proteins in the body, but it's also the job of proline to help form connective tissue. So when it comes down to tendons, when it comes down to ligaments, things like that, proline is very, very important. Now, the other thing that proline is now being known for is actually reducing the size of fat particles in your arteries. This could, of course, be good for a number of different things. Okay, then we look at glycine. Glycine is another amino acid in collagen. Now, glycine is very, very good in supporting DNA and RNA synthesis. So that means if you're establishing new routines and you're trying to take care of your, your own genes, you're trying to take care of your DNA and preserve and live for a long time, then you want to have glycine in the mix because it's actually going to preserve and help that synthesis of DNA and RNA. Then we have arginine, another amino acid that's in collagen, and arginine is known for improving blood flow. So you get a massive amount of blood flow that can deliver nutrients to different areas of the body, to muscles, to organs. Obviously a very good thing. But of course, the benefits of bone marrow aren't just about the collagen. You see, like I mentioned earlier in this video, bone marrow contains a lot of various minerals, and you're getting these minerals in their true bioavailable form. Sure, you can take mineral supplements and you're gonna get a benefit, but when you're actually getting it in its true bioavailable form, you're getting it in the best possible way. You see, take magnesium, for example. Magnesium is generally measured by looking at what's called RBC magnesium. Okay, that's the amount of magnesium that's actually in the red blood cells in the bone marrow itself because that's the true way that minerals are stored, specifically things like magnesium. So when you're looking to get a good, wide abundance of minerals, you want to get it from a nice, solid source. And quite frankly, bone marrow is going to be one of the best sources that you can get it from in one simple spot. Now, another thing that's interesting is there's some research that's come out of the University of Michigan that shows that bone marrow could be a really good source of adenopectin. You see, adenopectin is usually stored in our fat, and adenopectin helps us not only break down that fat, but also helps us maintain what's called insulin sensitivity. So it could, in effect, actually help us stay leaner. So by consuming bone marrow, either in its raw form or in a capsule form, you could be supporting adenopectin levels in your body, which therefore could help you break down more fat and just live a healthier, leaner life. Now, when you take all this, there's some other cool stuff that you can add to it. So, for example, now we're seeing that bone marrow could play a role in healthy cholesterol levels, driving up the good HDL cholesterol and potentially bringing down the bad LDL cholesterol, or at least the specific particles of LDL that we want to have lowered. But now is where it really gets interesting. You see, a lot of scientists recently have been doing work in the world of stem cells. And if you've heard of stem cells, and you know that stem cells are all about regenerating. Okay, They help secrete proteins that breathe new life into tissue and allow us to heal and recover. But they're also important for building new immune cells and building cells that are in our blood, red blood cells and white blood cells. Well, believe it or not, they're finding out that there's myeloid and lymphoid stem cells inside bone marrow. That's where our red blood cells and our white blood cells and ultimately our immune system is formed. 
So if you've ever seen someone that's had some kind of cancer that can ultimately affect their immune system, sometimes it affects their bone marrow. And that's why people need bone marrow transplants a lot of times. You see, you start getting into the immune system, you actually do tap into the bone marrow. But on the other side of the equation, you can actually help the immune system by having good quality bone marrow because you get those stem cells. So when you have the stem cells coming in from a source like that, you could potentially be supporting your immune system, which is very, very powerful. But now let's help you understand what you need to look for when you're actually getting bone marrow in your body and you're using a supplement or whatever you may use. You see, it's very, very important that you get a high quality one. And here's why. Bone marrow is predominantly fat and fats store toxins. So if you have bone marrow that's coming from an animal that has been living for a long time already, then there's a good chance that that bone marrow is going to have a high degree of toxins. Now remember how I mentioned the whole red marrow and yellow marrow thing? You see, when you're young, most of your marrow is red. Okay, that's because it's high in blood cells. It's high in the white blood cells and the red blood cells. It's building things. It's got a lot of stem cells. As you age, it turns into yellow marrow, which is predominantly fat. It, fat is generally yellow. So the red marrow slowly turns into yellow marrow. You want to have the red marrow. So that's where Antler Farms comes in. You see, Antler Farms has a really unique product in the sense that their bone marrow product comes from calves, and it comes from the femurs of young calves. So the larger the bone, the better the quality and the actual plethora of different fats you're going to find in that marrow. So when you get it from a calf, you're going to get that red marrow because obviously the calf hasn't matured a whole lot yet. So it still has a lot of those stem cells. It still has a lot of that good immune supporting activity and the healthy fats that you need to live a healthy life. The other thing that's important is, of course, the sourcing. Antler Farms prides themselves on using good quality New Zealand beef. So when you're looking at that New Zealand beef, you have some of the best air quality, some of the best soil quality, some of the best grass quality that you could find in the world, meaning you're not going to have a lot of those toxins that are building up into the fatty tissue inside the bone marrow. Very, very important, especially if you're consuming a large amount of this. Now, the other thing we have to pay attention to is how quickly it's freeze-dried. So right when you extract the marrow, it's important that you freeze-dry it to put it in your capsule form. You don't want it to be exposed to oxygen for a long time. That's going to cause what's called oxidative damage. That's going to denature those fats. It's going to cause what's called lipid peroxidation. It's going to make the fats that are super powerful, those monounsaturated fats that you want, it's going to start breaking them down and making them a little bit more useless in the body. So quality is of the utmost importance. You can find cheap products, but it's all about getting it from the right source. Otherwise, you're really making yourself go backwards more than anything. So when it comes down to getting the right quality, the right science, and the right cutting-edge nutrition, make sure you check out Antler Farms Bone Marrow Supplements. I'll see you soon.